Tux is going to demonstrate for you. <laughs> show them. Just show them. <laughs> Finally, we got some decent snow. Look at that. There's like a foot of snow out there. It just stopped snowing. Like, snowed all last night, all this morning. It was like coming down. So, we've got some inside projects we want to take care of in this video. Number one is, look at this kitchen. It's a disaster. Why is it a disaster? Because we didn't organize the cabinets very well when we moved in down here. And so, you know, we've just been kind of working through it and trying to trying to make it work until finally, Jules came up with a, I think a really cool system to organize everything, which means guys, we got to add a couple of shelves in here because look at the space. It's like, like you got to stack stuff so high to actually utilize that space. So we're going to add two more shelves in here make that better. Then we got some other kitchen organizing hacks that we wanna share with you in this video as well. So first things first, we're gonna clean this guy out, get it all out of there, and then we can figure out exactly what levels we wanna put those shelves. So this longer one went in the back. Just yeah. So all right, last one. All right. Yes. Yeah, yep, got it. All right, then. Yeah, Sweet. Good. Yeah, we got to do both of them. All right, so we moved. We moved these ones up from here three and a half inches. So I was going to try to figure out how to put this thing back in. This is the first one we've ever taken out and had to put back in. Yeah. So. Came out really easy. Yeah. Right. So it just sits on top of it. And then those clip in somehow. All right. Let's see if this does it. Okay. There you go. Latched. Looks like it. Pew. Pew. Look at that. So cool. close. Yeah. Yeah. That's easy. So it has these little orange things down here and it just latched right into there. So cool. Let's just double check that we did it right. We wanted to make sure that it could have the oil. Oh yeah, plenty. Plenty of room. Cool. Yep. Gotta give extra clearance for the oil bottles. They're extra tall. <laughs> even the gallon of our distilled white vinegar fits and we didn't even plan for that, but look at that. Closes, no problem. Cool. Perfect, dude. Did you know that one of the reasons we get to share these fun projects with you 100% for free is because of our very generous sponsors like EcoFlow. EcoFlow wants you to know that they have got their best end of year sale going on right now. You can get up to 58% off of their EcoFlow products. Plus, if you use my coupon code, you can get an additional 5% off. There are links down in the description below that you can check out and uh, get those savings for the end of the year. But I know that you're wondering, okay, which EcoFlow product though would be best for me? Well, we've got a lot of EcoFlow products and we're just gonna kind of review a little bit about them. This is one of their very small units right here. This is the EcoFlow River 2. It can do 484 watts and you can charge it right back here off of the wall or you can charge it with solar right here and you can charge it with up to 110 watts. So what would you use this unit for? Well, you could run a lot of your electronic devices, TVs, um, internet routers, security camera system, probably. You'd have to check on the specs of the things you want to run, but basically all of your small electronics, you can power off of this. So this may be a unit that you'd be interested in if you only need a small power supply. 
Oh, but what about this guy right here? This is the Step Up. This is the EcoFlow River 2 Pro, and this doubles as like a shoulder muscle exerciser. It is significantly heavier than the other one, but it's not too heavy, right? I mean, I can still hold it out. I'm just shaking a little bit. <laughs> So what will this guy do? It can go up to 1,050 watts of power coming out of the plugs here. And you can also charge it right here on the back, of course, off of the wall, just like the other one. But also you've got your solar power input right here. And so you can charge it with up to 220 watts of solar power. So this guy is basically your step up from here. When you need more power up to 1,050 watts, or you need a little bit of power for a longer period of time because it has double the size battery in it. You could even take it camping. I know some of you guys are probably opposed to electronics in the campground, but a lot of people aren't, you know? They wanna have their phones charged up. They wanna have maybe their drone charged up, or maybe you're using, say, a battery-powered DeWalt mm, chainsaw to cut your firewood with. Well. You can charge up your batteries after you run them down, cutting up your firewood with this guy right here. Super great, super portable, and uh, maybe the one that you want. Let's step it up another notch. This right here is the Delta Mini. It has an 882 watt hour battery in it and can do 1700 watts of power. Let's do the straight arm test with this one. Yeah, it's a little bit heavier. It is, but you can still hold it up with one arm straight out. On the back here, you have more AC outlets than the other ones. You still got your 12 volt power outlet. Come on, right there. Little rubber cap to keep it clean in there. And then a little flip up door here to keep this area clean. You can charge it off the wall, of course. And then you also have your solar power input, which can do 300 watts of solar panels. You need more power or you need a little bit of power for a longer period of time. This is the one that you might want. Let's step it up one more. Here we go. This is the Delta. This is actually the one that we use the most around the homestead. In my opinion, it is the most versatile. It's, it's much heavier than the other ones. <sighs> Try it. Okay, ready? We're gonna start off with two hands. I can do it. <laughs> Barely. All right, so significantly heavier, right? but you can easily carry it around with two hands. It's no problem at all. It'll do 2,100 watts out of here. And of course, again, you've got this guy right here for your 12 volt needs. You can charge it with up to 400 watts of solar power. All right. Whew. This is the Delta II Max. It's the biggest one we have. It's not the biggest one they make though. All right, you ready? Oh man, there's no way, dude. No way. <laughs> nope. Uh, this one is significantly heavy. You don't want to be like packing this thing around too much. You can carry it with two hands. It is heavy though. It can do 2,786 watts out of the outlets here. And check this out right here. Charge it, but look, it has two solar inputs right here. So you can charge this guy with up to 1,000 watts of solar power. If you need a lot of power, this is the one that you might wanna go with, but check this out. Now this is the battery, an additional battery that goes on top of it. Check this out, bink. Here's the cable right here, plugs into here. And this one plugs into here. And now the two are tied together. So we've got over 4,000 watt hours of battery right here that we can power something for a long time. We want to thank EcoFlow for sponsoring this video and giving you guys 58% off of your purchase, plus some free gifts that they're going to throw in with it. We also have our coupon code down below there. You can get an additional 5% off. So thank you, EcoFlow. Let's get back to work. All right, we gotta cut this guy in half, four feet. So we gotta cut it at two feet.
All right, we did some more adjusting here. We've got, we've got this one right here. It's like a really small shelf, but that's for bread. So bread doesn't need a lot of space. <laughs> Tortillas and bread. It's almost as thick as the shelf is deep. <laughs> Let's see. Let's do a job or not. Huh. Yeah. yeah, that's perfect. Somehow we got this shelf a little bit out of level, so we're gonna go ahead and take it back out and adjust this side to drop it down just like mm, a quarter of an inch. Because, check it out, right here, you can see it. Okay, so the can fits right here, but then as you get over here, it doesn't fit anymore. So, we'll put the level on it, and it's not level. Fits all the way across. Ooh, look at that. Much, much, much later. We got it all a little bit more organized and spaced out more evenly to fit the, our heights of our goods. So they're all uneven on purpose. They were even before, worked fine, but there was a lot of wasted space. Like even on this one, there's still a lot of space, but I can stack these too high so it's not wasted. The theme of today is organization. So we're on our way to another cabinet. So these are like all the kind of Tupperware type stuff <laughs> and mixing bowls and strainers. And they're all just like, you got to pull it all out to get to the stuff in the back. And probably very, very mismatched. <laughs> so this is what we're going to use. Uh oh, screws on the floor. These little guys, man, look how sharp that thing is. I got a piece of it stuck on my finger. Ouch. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be terrible to step on. All right. So this is uh, what we're going to use to hopefully organize the whole cabinet. It's heavy. Okay. Yeah, it has some weight to it, huh? Yeah. What Marty did. <laughs> cool. Yeah, it's perfect. Now you can pull this out. Look, Tux is going to demonstrate for you. <laughs> show them. Just show them. <laughs> Get in here and grab these heavy things without, you know, just shuffling too much stuff around. And then you've got the Tupperware up top now. And we're just using this plastic tote so that the lids will all stay together and not be flying all over the place. To the right of the stove, we want to have some of our baking dishes. And so the top shelf is actually going to be a pullout. And then we have something very creative for the bottom shelf that we're going to show you. We're using these $3 napkin holders as dividers so that we can put the baking sheets in here vertically. Oh, the kitchen. Look, before and after. It's beautiful now. And check it out. It's all beautifully organized. <sighs> Nothing is going to get lost now. We've got down here. Check this out, right? We've got the... Uh, We've got the drawer here to pull out for baking stuff. And then down here, we used our napkin holders to make uh, vertical dividers for them. Up here, Jules organized all of the spices beautifully in this cool little spice rack right here like that. And over here, I think you already saw this though, but this one right here, drawers that pull out for all the Tupperware type stuff. And then down here, mixing bowls and strainer. So the kitchen's coming along pretty good. There will be some other things that we're going to have to do as we continue to work in the kitchen and get it all kind of, you know, like, Efficient. Hmm, yeah, this doesn't seem like it should go here. Then we'll find a new spot for it. <laughs> but guys, we did pick out this video right over here for you to go ahead and watch next. But in the meantime, we hope you guys have a really great day and keep Thanks. smiling.